So over the last lectures, our app made good progress, but still we only work with one component, the root component, and we don't really have a nice looking list. Our list items are just some text nodes here in the end. So let's fix both. Let's actually create a new component which encapsulate a list item. And for that, I'll first of all create a new folder in our project. I'll name it source. And there I want to create all future source code. You don't necessarily need to create this. You could also create all the folders I am to create now on the top level. But I believe this setup makes your structure a bit more easier to read and make sure that your top level of the project doesn't get too crowded. So in source, I'll add components to add my reusable components. And in there, I'll add my list item component. In list item, I'll add list item.js. And this is pretty much the same setup you might know from a web based React app. In there, I will also create a functional component and not a class based one. Because just like in web based React apps, you can create functional components in React Native apps too. So I'll create a new constant list item, which holds an arrow function, which then should render something in the end. And there I will now also import React from React. We need to add this import to be able to use JSX. So this is all like in web based React. And I export list item as the default of this file. So inside here, I now want to render a list item. And I actually want to have a list item which is not just a text node, but a real view. Because if we were to use this here as a list item, we would have very limited styling options. Because if you try to style a text, for example, by giving it a border, it will just not work. The text node is not as stylable as the view component is. That's just how it is in React Native. Therefore, if you want to apply any significant styling, you need a view to which you apply the styling. So I'll import something from React Native, therefore, and that something will be view and of course a text I wrap in the view. Because keep in mind, if you want to output some written text, you can never do this directly in the view. You always need a text node for this. So here in list item, notice that I use the shortcut of having just parentheses here to immediately return whatever I enter between them. There I will output a view. And in this view, I will eventually also have a text. Now the text I want to output will be received on the props we get here, just like in a normal React component, because it is just a normal React component. And I can then output it here. Props, and then maybe place name. Any property name you want, you just have to make sure that you bind this name later. Now to style this view, I'll also import style sheet again. This helper API, which allowed us to create such objects we could bind to style. So I will add a new property styles here, use style sheet and there the create method and then pass a JavaScript object to that method where we set up our style sheet object. And there I want to have a, let's say a list item property, which is a JavaScript object where we could then style this element however we want to style it. For example, we could define that it should stretch the full available width we could give it some padding of maybe 10. We could also set the background color. And there React Native supports things like black or red or hex codes. So I'll use this light gray here with hash EEE. -E. And I will then assign this with the style property to my view here by accessing styles. So this constant here and then list item, this property in a constant. Now to see how this looks like, we need to use our component. So back in the app component, I will actually add it as an import here at the top. So we'll import list item with a capital L, just like in web-based React apps, your custom components need to start with capital characters. So import list item from, and then reach out to source, components, 
list item and there the list item file, you can omit the file extension. The build workflow we're using here will automatically add .js if you don't specify it. Now we can use the list item. So let's go down here where we render a list item and let's replace this one with our custom list item element. Let's still set a key property to I so that React doesn't complain. And now we also need to bind the place name prop. That's the custom prop we expect to get, the one we output here in our list item. So let's bind place name and let's just bind it to place this element from our places array. With that, let's save all components, both app.js and list item.js, and let's go back to our application. And you already see the change styling. However, you also see that despite us setting up list item to take the full width, it doesn't seem to stretch over the entire page. Now, why is that? That is related to the wrapping container. If we go back to our application, we see that in app.js, we render our list in this view. And this view doesn't have any special styling attached. The default will then for it be not to take the full available width, but only as much width as its child elements need. And therefore, only as much width as San Francisco needs. So to fix this, we simply need to change the style of this view. For that, I'll add another style property to my style sheet. I'll name it list container. And there I'll take a width of 100%. We could also set flex to one, but then it will also take the full height. Certainly an option if we want that, but here I just want to take as much height as needed and therefore only set the width. So with 100%, now we need to assign this to this view here. So let's add style here. Let's set it to styles list container. Save that file and go back. And now there, as it updates, you see now our list items take the full width. Now maybe some margin would be nice between the list items. So we could also go to our list item component and add a margin of five, for example, which of course will be applied in all directions. If you just want to have a margin to the bottom, you can of course also say margin bottom here. So now it would look like this. So this looks quite nice. You can of course play around with that, add a border and so on. But what I want to do is I just want to split up my app component into more subcomponents because I don't really like how crowded this is. It would make more sense to really take the strength of React and create more components one for handling the input and one for rendering the entire list, not just list item components. Let's do these changes in the next lecture. And actually, here's a challenge for you. Do it on your own. That is your first assignment. Let's dive into it in the next lecture.